Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at the Solo of Chogokin GD45 Mechagodzilla 2002. To get started, let's just take a look at this guy's box that he comes in. It's a pretty sweet looking box. Sticker says 2002 up here and the box says 2003, so that's kind of confusing sometimes. But it's got the picture of the toy and some cool poses with ice along the bottom. On the side there's a frozen hand. That's on both sides. On the top it has that picture from the front, and on the bottom it has some cool text. It just says Mechagodzilla 2003 on there. On the back it shows off some of the features of the figure, different poses, things it can do, different angles, stuff like that. So overall it's a pretty cool box. Let's get that out of the way for now. The figure itself is generally it's pretty it's pretty heavy because down here it is made of metal so and on the um, chest as well is made of metal so it's pretty cold to the touch and it makes this guy really heavy the detail all over the body is sculpted very nicely and is all done very very well as you can see all of the spikes on the tail are individually molded, as are the fins on the back here, and even all the detail on the little battle pack and gauntlets are there. The knees and the toes, good. You can see the wiring in all of the side parts and on the neck. And on the face is really good as well. All the teeth are etched in there and painted white to look like the teeth from the skeleton in him. And the, even the little blasters are molded inside as well. And his chest does open up to reveal the Absolute Zero Cannon inside, which is very nice looking very very well done essentially the accessories that come with this guy are the arm blasters with the um, swords that do attach and then the backpack and these all come off as well they'll ship in the box as separate pieces so we'll take those off real quick All relatively easy just hole here goes on there and then there's some little clips right here in the side that the battle pack goes into now we can see a, a better look at the back here there are little fins that you can put in there if you don't want to have the um, battle pack on and the only visible screws are on the back right here and right there on the legs which isn't that bad because you generally, you know, you won't see them from the front, which is nice. The fingers are really nice and long and kind of the way they're supposed to look. Not short like on the um, the vinyls. Uh, the art, the articulation on this guy is very nicely done. The neck moves back and forth and kind of around. The head does turn back and forth, and the mouth does open and close relatively easily. The arms do go all the way around. They have a little bicep pivot right here, and they do go back and forth. Then the wrists move. And like I said before, the chest piece does open up. Then the legs are like snaps almost at the knees. Gotta click in and out of place. And then so are the legs right here. They kind of click into three different positions. And then the foot does rock back and forth and can kind of move around in a circle. And then the tail does rock a little bit at the base where it detaches, and then there's ball joints in 
all of these slots on the tail and then even down here. So the tail is pretty articulated for being a um, metal and plastic figure. Overall, this guy does look very nice. All the detail is very well done. And the price of this guy is, I don't know, it's getting pretty crazy these days. I got mine for $60 um, years ago at a G-Fest, but if you find them online now, you generally can't find them for under $100, let alone $120, which is near the double what I paid. So, overall, he's very nice. Um, he is about 6 inches tall, so he does look just, he's about seven, seven. Six and a half, seven. So he does kind of appear to be a lot bigger than like the NECA figures, but he does go nicely with the Bandai vinyls. Um, there really isn't a Godzilla 2002 or 2003 around this size to go with him because there wasn't one that was made with this set. The only things that came out of this set were this Mecha Godzilla, uh, the next Mecha Godzilla then the 70s ones, and then a Gigan, so there's no actual, like, other monsters to go with these. But that's besides the point. I mean, they are metal, they are kind of older, and they are still really nice, though. I definitely recommend um, anyone picking one of these up, because they are very high quality, and I just love the uh, fact that these parts are metal, makes it very heavy, a very nice display piece, and good for any other projects you want to do. So, I'll see you guys in the next one.